Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17 Liverpool career mode. This is season one, episode two. So guys, if you still are enjoying the Liverpool career mode and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know in the comments for players you would like me to sign in January. We're currently in the August transfer deadline day. Once that's done, we have two matches in today's episode, the first of, of which is against Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge. And then we have a home match at Anfield against Manchester United, a huge rivalry within the league alongside the Merseyside derby against Everton, which I will be playing this season. I really can't wait for that. Now, transfer deadline day-wise, Sanchez and Ozil have both left to Bayern Munich, and Arsene Wenger hasn't really brought in anyone back. They brought in Toprak and Laporte. But apart from that, the spine of this Arsenal side has been ripped apart here today. Griezmann is signed for United as well. Tottenham Hotspur signed Bojan from Stoke City. Ricardo Rodriguez, the Swissman from Wolfsburg, has moved to Juventus. They love their Bundesliga left-backs, don't they? They always seem to sign Alaba. So, guys, in the last episode, we managed to sign five former Liverpool legends in Luis Suarez, Steven Gerrard, uh, Jabby Alonso, Mascherano, and Dirk Kelt. We managed to sign five former legends. Now, coming up in January, I probably want to try and get Raheem Sterling, Fernando Torres, and John Joe Shelby. That was some of the comments in the last video. So let me know. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know who I should sign in January. But we've brought back five superstars, and I really can't wait to get stuck into the match against Chelsea now then. Okay, guys, welcome to the first match of today's episode against Conte's Chelsea. We're playing at Stanford Bridge. We're currently first in the Premier League, followed by Middlesbrough, Man City, Crystal Palace, Big Sam's Palace, uh, Chelsea, and Everton. Aguero is the top goal scorer, followed by Vokes, Benteke, Sane, and Rashford. Alonso is our top goal scorer for Liverpool. So in the last episode, like I said, we managed to sign five former Liverpool legends, and and we've got a really, really exciting and classic squad. So we're going to be playing a 4-3-3 false nine. We're going to be doing the high octane, high pressing, high gagan pressing inspired by Jurgen Klopp. So we've got the Coutinho on the left, Suarez in the center of the park. Haven't played with a false nine in FIFA apart from the last two episodes of this. And I've been enjoying it. It's, it's been a bit different. Uh, Roberto Firmino on the right. Lalana, Gerard Alonso in the midfield. Moreno as my left back. Um, Mascarano, uh, Joel Matip. Is it Joel? I don't know. I think it's Joel Matip. Uh, Klein and Loris Karius. I couldn't remember if his first name's Joel. Daniel Sturridge, Mario Balotelli, Mane, Dirk Kelt on the bench. Mingale, Lovren, Wijnaldum, and a couple of others in the reserves. Should I make any substitutions? Um, no, I think I'm quite happy with that. Okay. Let's get ch stuck into Conte's Chelsea. It's going to be a good one. Okay, we're playing away, so we're going to go with our red kit. It's not going to clash with their blue. Now, hopefully, we can have a good match against Conte here today. Hopefully, Liver uh, Chelsea can bring their A game. So, unfortunately, it's raining at Stanford Bridge. Anthony Taylor is the manager. We're on the trot of a 2-0 victory against Tottenham. Sorry, 2-1 victory. 2-1 victory over Tottenham and a 2-0 victory over Arsenal. Let's get stuck into Conte. Okay, welcome back to the Premier League, son. We're playing against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. It is pissing down with rain. Let's see who Ch uh, Chelsea field, because the Arsenal team, my God, they've lost Sanchez, they've lost Ozil. When I played them, they did have Sanchez, but they didn't play Xhaka, Ramsey, Hector Bellerin. They played such a weak inside. I don't know why. The AI sometimes just makes incredibly poor uh, tactical decisions. And whatnot. Spurs was actually a really, really good battle of wits. It was Dirk to pick up the penalty, and it was Xabi Alonso to start off the scoring. Deli Ali did pick up a consolation goal against myself, Liverpool. But at this point in time, at that point in time, uh, it was sort of irrelevant, I think. Right. Okay. So Chelsea are playing a 4-3-3. No, no, not a false nine. Diego Costa leading the line. Man, what strength he has. Uh, Eden Hazard, William on the left and right. This is a very, very strong Chelsea side. Okay, so they have Javier Martinez in the in the midfield position. Huh. 
I see him as more of a centre back, but that's not bad. Matt Matic and Mikel, man, that's going to be tough to break down with my midfield because we did st struggle against Spurs. Aspilicueta, Monolas, Rafael Varane, and then we've got Ivanovic and Courtois in goal. That's a very, very good defensive pairing. This is probably the best side we've come up against. And then we have to face Jose Mourinho's United. We have the kickoff, and Lalana is going to get the ball first. Let's go, you mighty Reds. Suarez finds Adam Lalana. He's at the edge of the area here, Lalana. He's going to have to stretch the play only as far as Nathaniel Klein. He's trying to feed it into Lalana back again. It looks like it's going to get cleared by the Chelsea defense here now. Ivanovic has got it. Oh, my God. How has Luis Suarez stolen it? What the fuck? Gerard. Gerard! Oh, my God. I, I knew that was fucking written there. On the chest, Gerard hits it down. That was a sensational shot from the 30-year-old. Oh, he's mid-30. I think he's 34, but wow. Who would have thought that ball would have gone in like that? All right, Alonso's going to whip it in. He's try He's found the Lana. Oh, fucking hell. Chelsea clear. Suarez finds Coutinho. He just needs to get past Ivanovic here. He does quite comfortably. Moreno puts it over the bar. He's done that a couple of times. Got into a pretty decent attacking position, but he just doesn't have the... Uh, the finishing quality, which is entirely understandable. He is a left back at the end of the day. Firmino cuts back. Lalana, Suarez, Coutinho. Oh, he's going to have to push for it here now, though. Come on. Whoa, okay. I was trying to put that across into the box, but it managed to nearly go into the back of the net past Courtois. Lalana, Firmino finds... Nathaniel Klein, he's trying to get it central, but no one's there. Ha! Oh, Lalana can't go for that. Maybe if it was Gerard or someone would have been a little bit better. Did he get a deflection, did it? No, I don't think it did. Suarez, oh my god, somehow has found Roberto Firmino here. Come on, Suarez. Finish it! Coutinho at the back post here. Puts it into the back of the net just before the 69th. And I think that's when Xabi Alonso scored in the last match. We've left it bloody late here. Coutinho running in makes it 1-0 against Chelsea. If we can beat Arsenal, Liverpool and Chelsea in consecutive matches, we're going to look awesome for the title race. Now I'm going to have to change up the squad because I did see Chelsea actually bring on some players Right, we're going to have to try and finish this off. So what should I do? I think I might just bring on pace. I do want to, I want to play Dirk as much as possible, Dirk Kjalt, uh as much as possible because he is, what is he, 36? And by the time we hit January, his stats are going to be so far down, he's nearly going to be unusable. So I haven't played Gini Wijnaldum as much. I want to give him a bit of a rotation into the squad. Um... Gonna play Daniel Sturridge on the right. I'm just sort of un I could like um, I could play Balotelli and Dirk. Dirk. I want to play Dirk. We'll bring him on for Suarez. We'll keep Gerard, Lalana, and uh, Javi Alonso in the midfield. Daniel Sturridge on the ball has Dirk right next to him. Oh my God! He's just keep on oh, <laughs> keep on going, Dirk. Why them on the ball? Has Daniel Sturridge gets it back to Why them. Put it to the edge of the area here. Someone's got to be here. Oh, my God. Dirk. Oh, my God. How is Wijnaldum being put through here? Make it to... <sighs> Javi Alonso finds Lalana. Dirk Kjolt breaking away. Oh, Rafael Varane. What a solid... Oh, shit. We got the ball back here somehow. Come on. Get some nice intricate play. Wijnaldum, oh, straight into the path of Ivanovic, and Chelsea absolutely bombed this one up. Only, and is that the full-time whistle? Yep, it sure is. We have scraped a 1-0 victory over Chelsea here today from a really good Coutinho goal. He picked up the goal and the man of the match, respectedly. Adam Lallana picking up the assist. So, guys, we've... We've scraped a 1-0 victory over Chelsea here today. We've claimed the three points. Let's face Jose Mourinho's Manchester United. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Welcome to the second match of today's episode against Manchester United. A huge, 
Huge rivalry within the Premier League, of course. Obviously, our other big rival is Everton. So we're playing at home. We're playing it at Anfield. We're currently first in the Premier League, followed by Middlesbrough, Crystal Palace, Man City, Chelsea, and Watford. United are currently sitting in eighth with three wins, one draw, and three losses. Swansea, Hull, and Bournemouth in relegation zone. Spurs 13th, Arsenal 9th. Okay. Coutinho is the top goal scorer with six goals, followed by Igalu, Welbeck, and Riyad Mahrez. Now, I've got to show you a very condemning stat here. Luis Suarez, after four matches played, has not scored a single goal and an assist. And I attribute that to the false nine formation. He's really sitting back deep. We're, we're really not using him to the best of his ability. So we're not going to play the false nine anymore. Even though we only we only lost... Sorry, only won 1-0 over Chelsea. But we've only scored like a maximum of two goals per match. We managed to win 2-0 over Spurs. Sorry, 2-1 over Spurs and 2-0 over Arsenal. I feel like I'm... Yeah, I'm not using Suarez to the best of his ability. So what I'm going to do for this match against United, if it works leaps and bounds, I'm probably going to keep it like this. So what what formation do I want to I want to go? I want to go with the four three three. I think that works quite well. Um, I'm just or should I go with a four three two one? Play it a lot more narrow. I quite like Firmino and Coutinho on the wings though. Now let's just play a four three three attack. Let's play. Suarez through the center, Firmino on the right. Um, who should I play as my cam? Probably Lalana, I would think. Play Lalana at the camp because he's a little bit more pacier than Gerard, and then play Gerard. Oh, who should I put on the right and left? Yeah, let Alonso play on the left. Uh, sorry, right. Let Gerard play on the left. So we're going to be playing the 4-3-3, like I said. Coutinho, Suarez, Firmino leading the line. Lalana at the cam. Gerard, Alonso, Nathaniel Klein, Matip, Mascarano, Moreno, Loris Curious, Sturridge, Balotelli, Mane, Dirk Kjelt, um, Mingale, Lovren, Wijnaldum on the bench. I could go with a 4-3-3 narrow or just a 4-3-2-1. Um... Play at the wingers as inside forwards. We'll just sort of have to see after the United result. Because we struggle to score against Chelsea. When it's pissing down with fucking rain, it really doesn't help. So should we let them play in their blue kit? I think we should. It'll probably give us an advantage. We might think we're playing against Everton. Wayne Rooney looks like um, a real Evertonian or whatever they're called. So we're playing on Anfield. Anthony Taylor is the manager. It's a clear day. Thank God. Let's hopefully, this, hopefully we can beat the Manx, the Scousers versus the Manx. Okay, guys, welcome to the Manchester and Liverpool Derby. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. I think it's called the Northwest Derby. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, obviously a huge, huge rivalry within the league. Liverpool versus United. The United supporter on myself. I feel bad. I feel bad if we end up beating them or scoring a lot against them. But uh, I am the Liverpool manager now. All my focus is on my Liverpool boys. So, okay, United are fielding a, wow, okay, a 4-2-3-1. They've got Griezmann leading the line just behind Wayne Rooney. I would have chosen Zlatan over Wayne Rooney and played Griezmann where Rooney's playing. Um, Martial on the left's good. Carrick, very good in the midfield with Schneiderlin. Huh. Very, very interesting. I probably would have gone with Fellaini. Just tactically, he's so good. Right. Mkhitaryan on the right. His scorpion kick was phenomenal in real life, even though it was offside. <laughs> Valencia at right back. Not bad. Would have preferred Damian. Jones and Blind, the centre-back pairing. Maybe Smalling over Jones. Luke Shaw, David De Gea in goal. So a very, very strong United squad. But by the look of it... Um, not a very tall United squad, so we're probably going to be able to play a lot more through the air, but we are playing the the high-pressing, um, high-passing, high-tempo Gagan pressing. That's what we're sort of going through here, trying to get a lot of intricate passing and, and trying to press them and push them as best we can. Gerard, Suarez, oh my god, did he just put in Steven Gerrard there? Valencia on top notch, blocking Stevie G, and David De Gea is going to have to throw this one out, not only as far as Suarez, have a ping from there, Lalana. oh my god. Um, David De Gea wasn't in e even in his box by the look of it, I saw him tracking back. We're trying to push United, oh no, who's got an injury first up here? Someone's hobbling, 
You can see him bending down. It looks like Luke Shaw is going to walk off. Oh, Nathaniel Klein's pushing up. Come on, Liverpool. Whoa, fucking hell. So it looks like, I don't know who it was, but someone's picked up an injury. That was a really fucking tough piece of play. Jones looked like he nearly picked up a yellow. What's happened here? Right, that's my whatever. Um, who's come off? Luke Shaw has picked up an injury and has been substituted off. They've brought on Chris Smalling. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Firmino absolutely does Chris Smalling here. Lalana Suarez, he's hit the post. Denied his first Premier League goal still. Lalana. Steven Gerrard. Oh, he gets his shot blocked. I want to score an absolute screamer with either Alonso or Stevie G at some point. But guys, let me know in the comments. Players, you would like me to sign in January. Gerrard. Coutinho. Breaking away. He's just done Valencia here. At the edge of the area, Coutinho. Whew, he's just put it over the bar. He's been given way too much space there. We sort of just sort of had to push the, um, push the shot there. Oh my god, Griezmann has been put through. I think he was sort of under pressure. I would have gotten to him eventually. Had to rush the shot. Griezmann through against Loris Curious. He prevails with a really nice foot save. Firmino finds Alonso. He's got Stevie G near him. I was going to go for the long shot, but I went unselfish to Alana. I probably should have tried and pressed it if I was being... Okay, guys, it's currently half-time against the Red Devils. It is nil-nil. Either side can really push on and beat this. The thing is, that f fucking David De Gea really is Sir Alex Ferguson's gift that keeps on giving. He saves so many points in real life and in FIFA for United. <laughs> Coutinho finds Suarez on the break. He just has to get past Daly Blind here. He's at the edge of the area. Can he feed in someone? Carrick gets it clear. Coutinho, Suarez, oh my god, Stevie G, Steven Gerrard gets the shot on target against David De Gea, not bad from the Englishman, it's going to be a corner kick for Alonso, pops it into the box, Matip's going to win it, it's going to be another corner kick for Liverpool, the 69th, oh no it's not, it's come off a Liverpool player, Unfortunately, oh damn it, can Firmino, oh, Smalling is obviously not meant to play as a left back. You'd think they'd swap him with Daily Blind, but I don't know, what the fuck, John Stone, uh, not John Stones, Phil Jones is under pressure there and puts it wide, Alonso, just try and get some play here, come on Suarez, from the edge of the area, a little bit too ambitious with the finesse, it's still nil-nil. Suarez. Why is Joel Matip so far up? Firmino. On the volley! Oh, why didn't you kick that? Why did you go for the head of Suarez? I thought that was going to be a massive teed up volley. Right, it's time to make some substitutions now. Suarez has not scored. And he hasn't picked up an assist. We might have to drop him. He, I'm not playing well with him in this Liverpool career mode. Obviously, no, he's not a bad player, but I'm just not playing well with him. Let's bring on some of the uh, the pacier players. Let's bring on Sturridge. Let's bring on Mario Balotelli up front. Should we play Mane on the right, or should we play Wijnaldum? I'm going to play Mane on the, the left there. We'll play Sturridge on the right. We'll see how we go. Lalana, look at this Liverpool counter-attack here. Come on, Jabby Alonso. I know you're knackered, my friend. Have I just doubted Suarez too much? Lalana, it's offside. No, it's not. Holy shit. I thought it was offside there. That was such a close one. Runs to the flag. And Adam Lalana makes it 1-0 just before the 82nd. Luis Suarez picks up his first assist. For Liverpool. Man, I was doubting him big time. Javi Alonso was exhausted. Suarez plays it in for Lalana. Comes, he was offside, then he's just come back in. We've broken the deadlock against United. A 1 0 victory over Chelsea, a 1 0 victory over United. Looks like it's going to be the same sort of result. Wow. Scraping, scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Lalana. Mario Balotelli, back to Lalana. 
can Lalana claim his second? Pogba's tracking him bloody well. And they're not playing Pogba in this match. I completely forgot. They are playing Thiago, of course, because they signed him. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Super Mario. Oh, Wayne Rooney cuts it out. Yeah, the full-time whistle has blown, guys. We have claimed a 1-0 victory over Manchester United and Chelsea. Wow. Lalana picking up the goal. Suarez with the assist. And now, yeah, stay tuned for episode three of the Liverpool career mode. Just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support on this Liverpool career mode and just all my videos in general. That Man City career mode did very, very well. And I just want to thank you guys for all the fantastic comments you left, all the likes. It was really, really good. You guys showing your support. I just don't all my videos in general, but the Barcelona, the first episode of the Barcelona and the Man City did exceptionally well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe even some PSN and Xbox codes, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. My Patreon and Steam group are linked in the description as well. Let me know in the comments, players, you would like me to sign in January. I would like to go after maybe bringing back some more Liverpool players, like Fernando Torres, Raheem Sterling, um, John Joe Shelby is another one on that list. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, thanks guys. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.